Hello everyone and welcome to Rima's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making this delicious coconut flour carrot cake that is gluten-free, keto, and can be made nut-free. So let's get started. First, preheat your oven to 175 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. Keep in mind that the temperature will differ according to the oven brand and model. I've made this exact same cake in three different ovens and they've all required different baking times and temperatures. If you're using a gas oven or you know that your oven runs hot, then set it to 160 degrees Celsius or 325 degrees Fahrenheit instead. Take a medium-sized carrot and peel it, then use the big holes of your grater to get enough for half a cup of grated carrot. Then set that aside and put 114 grams of unsalted butter in a microwave-safe bowl and melt it down. Now add 3 fourths of a cup of the sweetener of your choice. I'm using erythritol, but you can use anything you want that's keto friendly. Mix that in as well. Crack in 4 large eggs. It would be better if the eggs are room temperature so they are easy to whisk into the mixture, but you can also use eggs from the fridge. Can you use flaxseed eggs? Unfortunately, no. I've tried to make it work so I can make a vegan version of this recipe, but every time the cake wouldn't rise properly and end up not tasting so good. Once the eggs are completely mixed in, add 4 teaspoons of cinnamon powder and whisk until they're combined. If you don't like your cake super cinnamony, then only add 1 tablespoon. Now grab your strainer and add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and one quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Do not skip the baking soda. It's super important for the texture of the cake. Coconut flour is very dense and the baking soda helps make the cake lighter and more airy. Add half a teaspoon of salt to this so you can balance out the sweetness. This is another thing you don't want to skip. Now throw in a little less of a quarter teaspoon of vanilla powder or one teaspoon of liquid vanilla extract. For the flour, you'll want to start with half a cup or 8 tablespoons of it, then keep adding until you reach the consistency that you'll see in a few seconds. This is because the amount of flour you'll need will depend on the brand you're using. In total, I used 10 tablespoons of coconut flour, and I added it in 2 tablespoon increments as well as strained it, so I'd be sure that it's evenly distributed and easier to mix. This is the consistency you want, but you should be able to move the batter around easily. It's held together, but it shouldn't be rock hard or you've added too much flour. Add the grated carrots and fold it in using a spatula. The next part is optional, but if you don't mind having nuts in this cake, you can add half a cup of chopped walnuts and fold them in. They provide a really nice taste and satisfying crunch. Here is a neat trick I learned over YouTube to help you place a baking sheet in your pan and not have it move around. Place your pan in the middle of the sheet and trace around it with a pen or pencil. Then cut out the corners of the baking sheet. Keep the parts you cut out in case you'll need them later to cover empty spaces. Now grab a small dollop of the batter and divide it into four, placing every piece at a corner of the baking pan. Put the baking sheet in place and push down on the corners so it sticks to the batter to stay in place. 
Add the batter to the pan and pat it down using your hand or a spatula. If you find any empty spaces in the baking sheet, just add the parts you cut off earlier to fill them in. Place the cake in the oven. In a modern electric oven or air fryer, this cake takes around 25 minutes to bake. In a modern or old gas oven, this cake takes around 45 minutes. You'll know for sure when you place a toothpick in it and it comes out clean. This is what your cake should look like when you take it out of the oven. This is also optional, but I'm just going to add some keto cream cheese frosting and some walnuts on top. So that's it. Let me know how this turns out for you in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to support the channel by hitting that like button and subscribing for more content. Enjoy!